Uh, okay, uh, back to posters. Um, let's zoom into this uh, image here. Okay, in this poster, what it's saying that this is, I mean, this is the enlarged version or the detailed version of this part of the circle. Now, that's good when you're doing your poster because then, if for example, you have a zoomed out image, and then you want to put details of that image, you can make this kind of effect okay so so okay how do we do that then okay so i'll delete this one first and then i'll show you how to do it okay let's close that one okay. so now uh okay the first thing you do is you have to to create a circle okay and put it somewhere in the photograph that you want to focus and you want to enlarge or magnify so first click on the ellipse tool okay now in the ellipse tool if you click on the ellipse tool and make a circle like that an ellipse you're not really sure if it's a perfect circle right but while you're doing this one you click on control then it's going to be a perfect circle okay, if i release my control button button it stretches but if i click on control then it makes a perfect circle Now I'll do this part. Okay. Now I'll put this circle in this side here. Okay. And then I already have a circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects. Sorry, it's not effects. It's yeah, it's effects. And then click on lens. Okay. So once you click on lens, there would be a dialog box here saying okay what do you want to magnify right so I click on the circle and I want to magnify that one and see this one is the how many times magnification so I'll make that say like that okay so if you take a look at this part it zooms in too okay you can always move the circle where you want to magnify it. So for example, I want to magnify that one. Showing that that's what I want to focus. Okay. Now, it is important to because if I move this out, there won't be any image, right? Because it's getting the enlarged part of this part. So what I'm going to I have to click on frozen and to say I want to freeze that image. So I click on frozen, right? This is important. And move it out. So if you notice here that I can freeze the image, then I can make that bigger. Like that. I move it over that side. Now, just to show to people that this is the part that I want to magnify, I'm going to make a circle too. Hit on control, and there you go. And I can make an outline. Go to your outline field outline tool so it's one two three three one and i'll make a four point outline i'll make it say red and then click ok right. now i can also make this one the same outline as that so go to my outline tool and I pick red and i think the points i chose four and i click ok now the only thing i have to do is to put the line from here to there so I click on my desire tool, okay. So that's one, two, three, four, fifth icon from the top. I chose the second one, desire tool, and then I just move it here, click, and then click here. There. Now if you want to make the same outline as the circle, so I just go to my outline tool again, and I click on red, and I go to outline two. Now for the arrows, I can always go here and make this end to be the arrow. Okay, See, I had a mistake. I put it in this end here. So I'll go back to my outline tool. So this one should be straight. And this one should have the arrow. And I think this one should be 4 because the other two outlines is 4 too. There you go. That's useful. That's 